We are back with a haul. I'm so excited. I got some OJ for the occasion. Delicious. Grab yourself a drink. Let's get this party started because I did a big order from the title you can probably guess, probably while you're watching, from CSB Crop Shop Boutique. Shower me in active wear. Bury me in active wear. Bury me in Australian active wear. If you are new here, hello, my name is Becky. I am from Birmingham in the UK and I've recently moved to Australia. Before I moved here, I used to look at Australian girls' Instagrams and see their activewear, their clothes. I always wanted to do orders from Crop Shop Boutique from places like White Fox. I feel like all the UK girls know what I mean when you see Australian brands they look very well made very good quality ever since I got here I've been dying to order a set from Crop Shop Boutique however it did take me a while to place the order because in Australia you have to get a store credit or exchange you can't return anything for a refund like you can't do that here, which blows my mind. I feel like that's really good to stop you mindlessly ordering loads of things to try for the sake of it. But I like to try things. I don't want to buy something and have to order from that brand again. Because what if I don't like it? What if the quality is really bad? And if they don't have a shop, how can I possibly try something from a brand that I don't trust yet? So it took me a while to place this order. And why I placed the order in the end is because I'm working in a coffee shop at the moment and a girl that comes in every Saturday with her boyfriend, they have a coffee date. She looks unreal and i'm like honey you're wearing crop shop boutique what's the quality like shall i place an order and she was like girl place the order you need to get some it's such good quality the sizing is good everything is good so i didn't even wait to go home on my lunch i was like placed the order thank you very much i placed the order for one set and it came back and I'll show you. I'll show you now. I ended up doing another order basically. <laughs> and this is how this has happened. You know, on my first order, the bra didn't fit me. I had to exchange it. So I got chatting to one of the girls at the customer service. And then I thought, whilst I'm in conversation with you, I'm gonna ask you a question. Can I order a lot more and do a haul and refund it? <laughs> and not have to do a store credit and she went honey we don't usually but i'm gonna let you i'm gonna let you and i was like thank you thank you very much it's not like i'm you know doing anything extra all i'm doing is getting a refund if i don't like this stuff but i did have a sneak peek and i'm worried i, I don't think i'm gonna return much because it looks really nice Let's get into it, shall we? If you like these kind of videos and you want to see more hauls from me, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It makes so much difference and it really, really helped me out. So thank you in advance. So, so, oh, I need to get my phone up in there. Tell you what's what tell you what's what honey first up i did order the sierra crop top which arrived it didn't fit me it was so booby for reference i'd say my boobs are like 32e i would say e are they I always feel like I get a bit of a like body dysmorphia. I feel like my boobs aren't that big, but maybe they are. I don't know. But my first order was the Sierra crop top, which arrived and I thought, oh, this is so nice. But I should have known this always happens. It just didn't fit me on the boobs and it was never going to work. A boob would have popped out. It was too much. I had to return it. So instead of that bra, I exchanged it for this one, which is the Lexi Crop, which has more coverage on the front, but less coverage on the back. The back is super open. I was a bit hesitant about because I'm not the biggest fan of my back. I don't know why. I just, I just rather you not really see my back that much, you know? As much as this anyway, like 
as literally some strings holding it in but i really wanted to keep the studio color because i did order the scrunch bum bottoms so these are the serenity scrunch crossover shorts and these are in four inches again i got a size medium and i am obsessed with these shorts they are so nice at first i thought i should have sized up because they are a bit clingy but now i'm really glad that i stuck true to size i got a size medium and i didn't feel like i actually stretched these a bit too much as soon as i put them on like i had a bit of a rip but I think it's fine. They've been fine since, so nothing to worry about. <laughs> I am absolutely obsessed with the V on these shorts. I feel like it pulls you in and it gives you like more shape, whereas the other ones are just like that. They are also very squat proof and I would say sweat proof, although I have seen myself a bit of sweat showing up, but it would definitely not be noticeable to anybody else. So these shorts are literally 10 out of 10 from me. I cannot recommend these enough. And then this sports bra, whilst it doesn't have that much support, it's got the cups in here. And I like the way that it like folds under here. Like, can you see that? A little bit of like shape. But for upper body days where you're not really like doing any running or anything like that, I think that this is so perfect. And also, imagine doing that day wearing this. This gives me motivation to get a nice back. I feel like going to the gym and doing back there. Is my back very nice? I don't think so. Have I got any back gains? Probably not. <laughs> But we're working on ourselves this year and I've been training the upper body a lot more since I've been here. I have not been in a good routine. I've been traveling since last August, honey. That's six months. But I love this set. This set is perfect for a hot girl walk. Like if I wasn't working on a Saturday morning, I would be joining the girl that comes in the cafe for her hot girl walk and a nice latte. But you know what? got to pay my bills so she can go on a hot girl walk with her boyfriend while I stay single and serve her the ice latte and I'll go on a hot girl walk on my day off on a Monday <laughs> next up uh, I got the Dylan Croft in white now I'm gonna try my absolute hardest to keep this white and not get any marks on it this is her she looks very supportive very nice I thought I'd get her <laughs> why am I talking about active wearers of her I'm like, what? You're not real. You're not a person. I like the front of this, so I thought that I could wear it a lot, like, not in the gym. Even though most active wear I don't wear as well, not in the gym. Active wear is a lifestyle, honey, you know? We wear it all the time over here. But you know what I mean? Like, you could get away with this going anywhere. Going absolutely anywhere you want. People are walking past my apartment and looking at me weirdly but the back side is different but i've just i really was vibing with this and i don't have many white sports bras the back is very open again i feel like crop shop boutique stuff is all very open very booby very out there very like hot girl bondi babe which i'm, I'm trying my best to be but at the end of the day i'm just me <laughs> and i don't think i am that <laughs> But I got this in a size medium and let's try her on. I'm gonna go put a t-shirt over my head before I try this on. So I'll be back probably in 10 minutes. I'm gonna actually switch the camera off for this one because I don't want my battery to die low off. So I uh, put this white top on. A few moments later. I didn't think I'd like this as much as I do. Wow, can we just, just, just. Especially with these bottoms, I think that this just pops a bit. Like, the back is so nice. I mean, the tan lines would definitely be questionable. It definitely isn't the most supportive, but none of the Crop Shop Boutique stuff is supportive. Like, the only thing is that the cups are a bit visible, so you can kind of see the little triangles, which I absolutely hate when you can see them and actually prefer to just take them out and not be able to see them. But I think with this, you would have to keep it in because then you're gonna see like your boobs and stuff because it's white, you know? The only thing is that it is like a bit gapey around here. Like the material is a bit like blabby. Like it's not, I don't know. I feel like it could be a bit more like that, but I really like this. I don't know. I'm gonna see 
how I feel about everything else and decide on what I'm gonna keep or not because I can't keep everything and I feel like there's more stuff in here that I really like more. Next I have this Isla Midnight crop top and I saw a girl wearing this in white the other day. I literally walked past her on the street and she turned around and I was like, I know exactly where that's from. Anyway, <laughs> this is it, but they didn't have it in white, otherwise I would have got it in white. So I got it in the midnight color because I thought if I do like this, then it'll go with the shorts that I've got in the studio because they are a very similar color. The midnight is just a little bit darker, but I reckon I could get away with matching them. I've been well and truly influenced. I mean, putting it up against me, Makes me feel like it's not gonna fit me. <laughs> but we'll try. I'm gonna have to go back to the bathroom and uh, put it on because it took me a while to get this on, didn't it? I think this is gonna be a running trend in this haul that all of these tops are kind of built for not big boobed women. I think maybe I should have got this in a large. The material is very nice. It feels supportive. The only thing is obviously the under boob and it is very booby. I don't know how I'd feel going to the gym wearing this. Like it's just a bit much. But if you've got smaller boobs, <sighs> I'm really jealous of you and get this bra. Oh God. <laughs> Next up, I got this Cora bra in the color Hinterland. I'm just hoping it's not too much. <laughs> I love this color green. If you've watched my videos for a long time, you'll know that the main set that I bought to Australia with me because I only had a few things that I could bring because I was obviously living out of a backpack. The main set I always wear is my green Gymshark set and I absolutely love it. It just, it works. And so I just love green. <laughs> So that's how I got this. Do you need any other reasons to buy an active work? No, I don't think so. But I also got these leggings. These are the Serenity leggings in Hinterland. These don't have the scrunch bum. I wanted to see what it's like without. Logo, and then on the front, they don't have the the dip, like the other shorts that I have too. <laughs> so these are just plain, and they are also full length. The material feels really nice on these. They feel like not too stretchy. It feels buttery material, but not as buttery as Lululemon is. Let me get my Lulus out and show you. Oh, now I'm going to have to manoeuvre the whole place. My Lulus, compared to the feel of these, definitely feel softer and lighter. These are definitely less breathable. But if you want like a warmer legging, I think these would be better. Obviously, in Australia right now, we don't want anything warmer. Guys, I love this bra. I'm obsessed. There is a bit of extra fabric under the arm again. I feel like this has been on a lot of these pieces. There's just like extra stuff here that's unnecessary. That could do with just doing that, basically. But this bra is so nice. It's so flattering. I probably wouldn't pair it with the leggings, actually. I'd wear it with a different, like, black pair of leggings or short, because... You know, it's very supportive as well. Probably wouldn't wear it in the gym, but I'd wear it on my hot girl walks. I'd wear it to yoga. I'd wear it to Pilates. I'd, I don't know if I just probably just wouldn't walk around the actual gym wearing it because I feel like I'd get some stairs. Would I? Maybe I would wear it in the gym. But the back is also super nice. It's just a crossover again. I'm not so sure on the leggings though. I don't know, they feel tighter than the shorts. They feel just more compressed, which is always nice to have compressive leggings, but I just feel like they're a bit too much. They're not very breathable. I feel like if I was in the gym doing a workout in these leggings, I would be sweating and I'm the sweatiest person ever. So <laughs> I like to do anything to prevent sweating you know <laughs> the waistband on these it is very thick so it does hold you in quite a reasonable amount if you want that and then you have like the seam here and you don't get a camel toe because you don't have a lining here so it is very nice i love this color i'm just like so obsessed with the green but the back doesn't have the scrunch bum 
So I feel like it's way less flattering. I'm gonna assume that they are spot proof. I think that they are so thick that they couldn't possibly not be squat proof. I don't know about sweat proof either though, but I'm not going to keep these leggings because I don't think I'm going to get enough wear out of them, even if I did want to keep them. I mean, no, I wouldn't keep them anyway, actually. Last but not least, this is the Clara bra. I got this in a baby green. It's like a halter neck but it has the scrunch front and then at the back it's just plain and then you've just got the halter neck. I actually have a feeling this is gonna be quite supportive as well. I have just had to have a sit down for 15 minutes because I'm not even joking. I took those green leggings off when I pulled them down at the end, my thumb got stuck in there, bent back and it really hurt. I had to stand in the bathroom, I went dizzy and I just stood there like, it's still throbbing now. Uh, that's how thick the leggings are. It literally just bent my thumb back. <laughs> but anyway, moving on real quick so I can just go and rest my thumb. <laughs> Why? Honestly, I don't think I can even do much with this thumb anymore for the rest of the day. Anyway, this is the Clara bra and I am 200% keeping this bra. This is the best bra out of the whole haul. I feel like this is supportive. It's got this gorgeous scrunch. The back is fully open. This is a winner for me. It's got the pads in it. It doesn't have any extra material here like the others do. Yeah, this is... This is coming home with me. This is staying home with me. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will hopefully see you in my next video. Bye!